Hello everybody, welcome to Casa de Curandero. Today we have an interview with Joanna Romero, who is a close personal friend of mine. I first met her when I was working at the probation department. And to see her come along as she has in her work and as a person is really interesting because when I first met her, she would barely say two or three words to anybody. She was very quiet, very demure, and she has grown into her own. Uh, today she's going to be talking about prenatal massage. Uh, it's a wonderful thing, some of the things she's told me about it and how it benefits women, even to the point when they go into labor. So we're going to take it away to Krista and start the Hello, everyone. It's Krista. Thank you again for joining us today. We have Joanna Romero here, small business owner of Divine Massage by JoJo. And today we're going to talk to her specifically about prenatal massage. But could you first tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name is Joanna, of course. And I, am, I was born and raised in Sanger, California. And I live here in Fresno now. And um, I have, I'm married and I have three children. <laughs> so how did you get into massage? Well, I used to work for the probation department in the domestic violence unit. And I decided after 12 and a half years to change that up, so I decided to go to school for massage. So was how did working in probation kind of point you into that direction of massage and helping people? Because before you were helping people as well, but it's a totally different, yeah, different well, type of help. <laughs> I was actually working in, um, in finance, so I, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's kind of different. You see a lot of people with mental issues and just, I don't know. Yeah, and that kind of led you to want to help people. On yeah, a I wanted level. To, I wanted to help people who actually needed help, not just with their finances. So I hear another one of the reasons you got into massage was because of your grandmother. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, I started with massage because my grandma has um, sciatic nerve issues, the sciatica. Mm -hmm. So um, helping her with the massage helps release some of those um, those the tension in her legs from the nerves that are really tight. So it helps her walk a lot better. And she also has high blood pressure and diabetes, and it really helps just circulate her system. That's great. So it really helps alleviate all those symptoms yeah, and it makes her feel better. Definitely. That's wonderful. So you went to school here in Fresno, is that right? Uh, it was actually Clovis. In Clovis? I went to school at um, Sierra Massage School with Steve Matthews. OK. Yeah, the school's about to close, so. <laughs> oh, I've heard that, which is such yeah. a shame, because I hear it's a great school. Yeah, it's a really good school. But what types of massages did you learn while there? Um, I learned, the first one that we learned was Swedish massage, and we also did Thai massage, deep, um, deep tissue, hot stone, aromatherapy, reflexology, and I also do Reiki. So a little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> so how does the Reiki fit into the massage? Oh, well, I'm massaging clients. I, um, a lot of them, I can feel that their body is asking for healing, mm -hmm. so I tend to just naturally just start giving them energy. That's wonderful. <laughs> so tell me more about the prenatal massage. I know that as um, when I was pregnant with my children, I had one, and it was just absolutely wonderful. It was so relaxing, and it really relieved a lot of tension yeah. and pressure. But from a practitioner's point of view, what kind of benefits um, do you have? For people that have never experienced before, yeah. why would you recommend it? I would recommend it because, um, for, first of all, it reduces a lot of your stress, mm -hmm. and it helps you sleep better. It also relieves um, joint pains. And it also addresses common discomforts brought on by hormonal shifts during the pregnancy. And also a lot of women will get the groin pull because of all the pressure that the baby is um, putting on the mother's body. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yep. <laughs> I got that when I was pregnant. So I wish I had somebody massaging me. <laughs> but um, massaging that groin pull will really relieve a lot of the comfort and help the woman sleep and walk better and instead of being in the bed all for the rest of the month. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. So what can um, a woman expect if they come to you for a prenatal massage? What can they expect? Because I know usually when you're on a massage table, you're lying on your belly, and obviously that's not going to happen when, yeah, you're, definitely. when you're pregnant. <laughs> it just doesn't work. So yeah. what can, what's different about a prenatal massage compared to just a standard massage that The, you would the get? difference would be that they would be um, laying down um, on their side, and they would have one of those really long pillows. A body pillow. A body pillow. <laughs> and um, their legs would be, of course, wrapped over. They would be very comfortable on the table. And um, I would massage one side of their body, go all the way down, and then massage them all the way up. Their belly is also massaged, and their, their chest area, if that's what they want. If they don't want that, I will not massage it. Because <laughs> some people are not comfortable with certain massages. Yeah, everyone has their own limits. Yeah. So it's, it's nice to know you follow, you yeah. know, <laughs> those limits. I have to ask. <laughs> So one of the things I found really interesting that you do is that 
beyond the prenatal massage, you know, when a woman comes into your office or you go to them and you give the massage, you also will go to the hospital when a woman is in labor yeah. to actually give massage as well, which I think is just amazing because yeah. I know, um, <laughs> you know, labor itself is bad, and then sometimes you get the back labor where oh, you feel yeah, the definitely. you feel the contractions in your back, and it's just it's it's awful, and it's one of the things I wish I had known about. Yeah. <laughs> I would have liked a masseuse on call. Yeah. Uh, but tell me a little bit about that and how that works in the hospital setting. Well, in the hospital setting before the delivery, it would be good to um, have somebody there to massage their the pregnant person's back, mm -hmm. and it would definitely relieve a lot of that um, back labor pain that is happening. Yeah, because that's awful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so when, how does that work? Obviously, it's going to be during the the labor stages, not yeah. towards the very end. Oh, yeah. You don't want to be in the doctor's yeah, you way. you don't want to be in there when they're delivering. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. <laughs> but it, in, in situations like that, I think it's it's a wonderful idea to have somebody come in and help you through that because, you know, let's face it, most husbands have no idea what's going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they have no idea what's okay and what's not okay, when to be Definitely. touched when you're feeling those kinds <laughs> of pains. But So I think that's really a, a wonderful thing that you do, and I think that it's something that a lot of women aren't aware is out there that you can actually have somebody come into the yeah. hospital. So yeah. I think it's good to get the word out that, hey, that's an option. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's great. Well, I would like to thank you again, Joanna, for coming and talking to us and giving us more information about the benefits of prenatal massage. Um, for all of you viewers out there, the prenatal massage is just one aspect of what Joanna does. She does the Thai, the Swedish, the deep tissue, hot stone, and she does everything. And she's amazing <laughs> at it. So if you need a massage therapist and you're in the Fresno Clovis area, give her a call. We're going to have all of her links below the video so you can contact her. And again, just thank you very much for coming and sharing your time with us. And for our viewers out there, be on the lookout. There's going to be another video out where she's actually going to demonstrate some Thai massage. Yay. So <laughs> thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. And thanks for having me.